All right, so I've recently been seeing on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, a whole variety of different posts saying artificial intelligence is going to take over the world. Now, increasingly over the past sort of one or two weeks, which really prompted this video, I've been seeing more and more people promoting the fact that artificial super intelligence is pretty much here. Artificial, in, artificial general intelligence is basically here and actually they're not. So I'm going to break this little sort of video blog down into a couple of different parts. So the first part, which is this part, we're going to be having a quick chat about the state of artificial intelligence development and where we are on the ANI, AGI and ASA pathways. And then we're going to see whether or not AI, artificial intelligence can actually take over culture, so human culture, human business and human society. Now, when we have a look at the state of artificial intelligence at the moment, we have artificial narrow intelligence. Now, ANIs are a kind of artificial intelligence that are very good at doing one thing. They're siloed. Now, when we have a look at ChatGPT, the large language models and things like GPT-4, they use something called a master of experts model, where we tie these individual experts together to give the illusion of artificial general intelligence, but they aren't AGI. Now, when we have a look at AGI itself, that's slated for really 2032 to 2035. AGI is the point in time where artificial intelligence is pretty much better than every human on the planet at every single human skill. When we have a look at ChatGPT, for example, it has over a thousand times more general knowledge than any human brain does today, and it learns 300 million times faster. By 2037, it's estimated that that figure will be one billion times the amount of knowledge of a human brain. So this is where we're scaling to. When we have a look at AGI, AGI really starts putting us on the pathway to artificial superintelligence and AGI will be able to increasingly create new artificial intelligences, iterate them recursively, evolve them and improve them at digital or light speed. So this is really the point in time where we see a massive acceleration in the fundamental development of mass scale, top level AI. And then when we get to artificial super intelligence, essentially an, a, a sort of place where no problem can be, no problem uh, is too great to solve. That's really estimated to be 2045 onwards. And at that point, yeah, humans are probably going to be redundant in the vast majority of fields. Now, when we actually have a look at the sort of second part of this particular blog, will artificial intelligence be able to take over global business, culture and human society? Generally, the answers are yes, but they're kind of for odd reasons. So if we have a look at artificial intelligence taking over human culture, let's tackle that one first. So platforms like ChatGPT are already increasingly experts in human language. First English, then we move to the other languages and everything else. Now, what this means is this means that as they get better at creating content, whether that is humans feeding the machine, instructing the machine, or whether it's the machines doing this autonomously, we are ultimately going to reach the point where AI can not only rewrite human history, but can also rewrite our present and then start informing and influencing our future. So, for example, when you have a look at religion, religions are really the result of human storytelling. When you have a look at human culture, it's the result of human language, human storytelling again, human interactions, experiences, and so on and so forth. So as artificial intelligence gets better at manipulating human language, it gets better at manipulating human culture and human society. So in terms of taking over human society, this is where we're already seeing artificial intelligences generative artificial intelligences, but not the likes that you're seeing on the social networks. We are seeing the rise of generative artificial intelligences that are able to iterate and create new products. One of those products are new robots. And over the past couple of years across Europe and the US, we've seen generative artificial intelligences design new kinds of robots. Those robots, the designs for those robots have then been sent to 3D printers and humans then put those robots together and they do whatever it is they do. 
But over in the US, MIT sent one of these designs to a 4D printer. Now a 4D printer manipulates time and space. So in this particular case, a robot that was produced by an artificial intelligence was then sent to a 4D printer to be printed. The 4D printer printed it off and the robot walked off the printer because anyone who understands 4D printing understands that you can print something off, but that object then is capable of self-assembly. So NASA, for example, is looking at using 4D printing in space to create self-assembling space stations. And that's just the start of 4D printing, different topic, but there we go. Now, when we start putting these different technologies together, ultimately we have an artificial intelligence, you could call it Skynet if you like, designing new robots, using new manufacturing processes that allow those robots to be 3D or 4D printed in situ and then go off and do things. We then embed compute, electronics and everything else in those robots. So those can also be printed as well today, by the way. So yes, you fundamentally have the Terminator and Skynet system coming through. And then when we have a look at the Skynet system being able to understand, being able to see and understand risks, that's actually already being developed by DARPA, the US bleeding edge military research arm, and it's called Kairos. So Kairos is a system that is designed to take in huge volumes of data and understand if these things happen, the risks are X. And then what do we do with the risks? Yeah, whatever. Now, when it comes to artificial intelligence taking over human business, we're already seeing lots of people on TikTok, for example, saying, I used artificial intelligence to create my business plan, to create my product, and it's generally a digital product, could be software, could be images, whatever. And then I used artificial intelligence to create and publish my marketing plans. And then all of a sudden, my little side hustle that I started with 50 bucks is now a $30 billion Amazon-like enterprise. Now, at the moment, basically, these sort of business constructs actually have humans in the loop. AI is doing some of the heavy lifting. The human entrepreneurs are doing some of the heavy lifting. So it's a hybrid model. However, we're already starting to see artificial intelligence being able to automate all of these different processes because it is a process. And as they automate these different parts of the process, they automate the entire thing. So we're already seeing the rise of fully decentralized autonomous organizations. I track about 15 of them. They're generally in the social media space. They're generally in the communications space and they're generally in the financial services space, particularly sort of hedge funds, quantitative trading, that kind of area, especially in Hong Kong and especially in Wall Street in the latter case that are increasingly capable of designing a business, designing the products, making the products, creating all of the marketing content for those products and then figuring out where to push all that to. So if you have a look at Uber, for example, Uber is a perfect example or could be a perfect example of a fully autonomous company because it's just processes. I click a button on my phone. My phone knows where I am. That matches me with the nearest driver, which will be an autonomous car in the future. That driver turns up. I get in. Don't talk to him or her. Get out. System automatically knows I've gotten out. Pays pays the driver done why do you need a human anywhere in uber so anyway that's my little sort of video blog i hope you enjoyed it yeah there's a lot more to unpack there and uh, as for me like subscribe do whatever it is you like to do if you want to hear more great content and take it easy ta-da and don't let the robots come and get you i'll have a strategy for that too take it easy bye bye